If you don't take risks, you will have a wasted soul. Happiness is a risk. If you are not a little sacred, then you are not doing it right, says the father. Put faith in father today. Comment yes if you believe in God. Whether you give $10 or $1000, every dollar of your goes directly toward delivering transformative moments to women around the world. Don't listen to the malicious comments of those friends who never taking any risk themselves can only see other people's failures. That's the good part of dying when you have nothing to lose you run any risk you want. Everything in this life is a risk. You are given only two options. Take the risk and expect results or don't take a risk and expect nothing. Stop procrastinating. God uses people who are willing to get out of their comfort zone. He uses people who are willing to take risk. But before moving forward, Father has a special message to share with you. Father says today that a humble shepherd named Jacob lived a simple yet content life with his flock of sheep. He was known for his kindness, compassion and unwavering faith in the divine. The villagers admired him for his pity and he was often sought after for his wise counsel. One sweltering August day, the sun scorched the earth. Jacob encountered a mysterious stranger sitting by a well outside the village. The stranger was weary with tattered robes and a weary expression. Feeling compelled by his compassionate nature, Jacob approached the stranger and offered him water and food. The stranger gratefully accepted the hospitality and thanked Jacob for his kindness. As they sat together, the stranger revealed himself to be an angel sent by the heavens to test Jacob's devotion and faith. Pleased with Jacob's selflessness, the angel bestowed a divine blessing upon him, promising that a miracle would occur on the same day the following year. Curious and intrigued Jacob inquired about the nature of the miracle, but the angel only smiled enigmatically and said, You will know in due time, my faithful servant. From that day forward, Jacob's faith grew even stronger. He continued his simple life as a shepherd, but now with a heightened sense of purpose and anticipation for the promised miracle. As the months passed, the villagers noticed a change in Jacob. He became more dedicated to his prayers and acts of kindness, inspiring them to follow his example. As August approached, rumors spread throughout the village about the forthcoming miracle. People speculated about what it might be and how it would affect their lives. The anticipation and excitement were palpable as the entire community waited for the appointed day. Finally, on the morning of August, the village was awakened by a wondrous sight. The barren and dry land that surrounded the village has transformed into a lush and fertile oasis overnight. Streams flowed where there were none before and trees bore fruit in abundance. The villagers rejoiced, realizing that Jacob's unwavering faith and compassion had brought these miraculous blessings upon them all. However, amidst the celebration, a tragedy occurred. Jacob's beloved son, Isaac, fell gravely ill. The villagers grateful for the miracle but worried for their reward. Shepherd gathered around Jacob's humble dwelling, praying for his son's recovery. As Isaac's condition deteriorated, Jacob found himself torn between his devotion to the villagers and his love for his son. Faced with this heart-wrenching choice, Jacob made an extraordinary decision. He approached the well, the same place where he met the angel and offered his life in exchange for his son's healing. Moved by Jacob's unwavering love and sacrifice, the angel appeared once more. 
This time with tears of compassion in its eyes, the angel declared, Your faith and selflessness have touched the divine. Your son shall be healed and your name will be remembered for generations as a testament to the power of love and devotion. The angel's words echoed through the village. Isaac's condition miraculously improved. Jacob's sacrifice had not gone in vain and his family was restored. The father says that the august sacrifice teaches us the profound value of faith, compassion and selflessness. Jacob's unwavering trust in the divine and his readiness to sacrifice everything for the well-being of others serve as an enduring reminder that love and devotion have the power to bring miracles to our lives. It also reminds us that blessings can come from unexpected sources and that sometimes the greatest acts of faith and sacrifice can lead to the most profound transformations. The father says today, I see your distress and I hear the voice of your cry. My ear is bent low and the arm of my strength is bared to come to your aid, for I will not stand aloof from your suffering. Misery is not your portion, says the father. You are coming out and you are crossing over. You have dwelled in the land of hardship long enough. It is time to take the spoil and watch the walls come down as my mighty angel steps up to sweep away all oppositions and fulfill the cry of your heart in full measure. Now listen to this healing music and get healed for yourself and your family. Mm -hmm.